Welcome back to Capitol Review. In a historic vote, the Virginia General Assembly voted to abolish the death penalty, and this would make the Commonwealth the first southern state to do away with capital punishment after the bill is officially signed by Governor Ralph Northam. And joining us now is a lawmaker who sponsored the House version of the bill, Delegate Mike Mullen. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome to Capitol Review. So the death penalty has been a controversial topic in Virginia for decades. Democratic governors in the Commonwealth have been conflicted on this, and Republicans say capital punishment is needed to give justice to the victims and their family members. Now, why was it important for you to see it abolished now in 2021? Well, thank you so much for having me. And I just want to respond by saying that I think that the Virginia General Assembly is finally just catching up with Virginians. You know, there have been death eligible cases in Virginia about once a month for the last 11 years, and Virginia juries have not given them. It's been 11 years since the death sentence has been put down. I think it's high time that the Virginia General Assembly catches up with the rest of Virginia. Now, Virginia has executed more people in its history than any other state than Texas. Now, you work as an assistant Commonwealth attorney, so you've dealt with a number of murder cases. What were some of the main problems you saw with death penalty cases? So I will tell you this. I work as a criminal prosecutor every day. I've been in there the majority of the last 14 years, and I can tell you there's real evil in the world. There are bad people who deserve to be punished, and I work very hard to make sure that that happens. What I can tell you also is that we have the best darn criminal justice system in the world, I think, right here in the United States. But it's made of people, and people make mistakes. And every statistic I've seen is that it's between 2 and 10% of jury uh, verdicts are incorrect. You know, I've prosecuted 10,000 cases over my 14 years. And there are some very bad people who deserve to be punished, but the death penalty doesn't acknowledge the fact that we are fallible. And for some, the death penalty is a moral issue, and for others, I mean, this is something a lot of people may not know about, but it's also the cost related to capital punishment. So what are the cost differences in Virginia for death penalty compared to a system where a life sentence would be the maximum punishment? Well, I, I like the way that you framed that because, um, you know, I've had strong feelings about abolishing the death penalty since I was a altar server at St. Leo's um, when I was nine years old. Just felt like, and for, that's just for me, that there's a moral aspect to it. But I don't like putting a dollar value on human life. I don't like putting a dollar value on somebody's liberty or the suffering that a victim and their family had. But to answer your question, this saves almost $4 million a year for Virginia. And the costs are actually probably even less, so we're probably saving more. But um, the direct answer is $3.9 million. And I appreciate the honest answers and the honest conversation. So both chambers of the Virginia General Assembly voted to abolish the death penalty. The House of Delegates had the support from three Republicans. Now, aside from the House, holding a Democratic majority. What else do you think is contributing for Virginians to see this and want to see this practice change? I think Virginians are acknowledging the fact that this is a fallible system, that um, they've been given the option to pronounce death to people. It happens roughly once a month, and they've chosen not to do it. And, you know, I've handled death cases with some very bad people. And most of my practice is to punish murderers. And Virginia juries don't want to do it any longer. So finally, the Virginia General Assembly is catching up to Virginians. And Delegate Mullen, is there anything else that you would like our viewers to know about abolishing the death penalty and capital punishment in the Commonwealth? You know, I appreciate that question. Virginia has executed more people than anyone else in the country. You know, the very first execution occurred here in 1608 in Jamestown, where I represent. Um, it wasn't until 1997 that Virginia executed a white man for killing a black man. 1997. We had almost 1,400 executions in between. 
And the reason is, is because the death penalty is profoundly racist. And we'll wrap up Capital Review right after the break. Stay with us.